morning, I'm just students and this is my presentation and my model. Um, my topic was exploring colonised outside your world. My topic, my topic is to choose a planet suitable for humans to inhabit when design a colony to go on that planet. I also have to make a model of this colony. What planet did I choose and why? I chose Mars to colonise because of its temperature, distance and the lake underneath Mars is ice cap on the South Pole. Who will this help and why? This will help people who want a new and different life and will do, decrease the amount of over, overpopulation. It will help the people who want a new life by giving them the opportunity to leave Earth and the Earth problems behind. It will help the overpopulation by taking some people to a different planet, therefore decreasing the population and the overpopulation. What I've learned about this stock. I've learned that I've learned about astronauts and how they get water. They get water by collecting their pee in a spinning machine that heats up, which makes the water in their pee evaporate, and condensation gets collected. And the condensation gets collected into a tank along with sweat and excess air. The liquids then go into a separator that gets rid of any odor. After that, the water gets heated up again and disinfected, and then it comes out of the tap nice and clean. I also learned about which planets or moons are suitable for humans to inhabit. To inhabit Mars, Earth's moon, Europa, and Enceladus, and what is necessary to colonize another planet. A biosphere, hospital, bedrooms, dormitories, eating areas, a command center, leisure and physical activity centers, storage rooms, greenhouses, water and oxygen tanks, and landing areas for the space shuttles. I have learned about how oxygen can be made from water. The electricity from solar panels are used to split water particles into oxygen and hydrogen. Did you know? Did you know that steel is the strongest building material, not including titanium, etc.? Did you know that boredom increases the chance of you dying early because the stress hormone buildup can cause cardiovascular disease? This is why activities must be available for people living in the colonies. Did you know that space stations can be powered by solar instead of fuel? Did you know that the NASA veggie program has successfully grown plants on board a space station? Did you know that the longest day on the moon was by Harrison Schmidt and Eugene Cernan, who spent 75 hours on the moon? Miles Colony 21. My colony will need sleeping areas and dining areas, as well as leisure and physical activity centers. But we'll also need storage areas and water oxygen, water slash oxygen tanks and areas that space shuttles can land on. The colony will need a leader or multiple leaders who will need a place to lead from, so the colony will need to have a command centre. This will also be needed to guide spaceships into land. A hospital will be needed for sick and injured, and a greenhouse to grow food and biospheres could be used for some of the items that are the Materials that I need to use in my colony were titanium, insulation, Thermal protection system, glass, steel sheets, steel rods, concrete, solar panels, and aluminium. My substitutes for that in my model were toilet rolls and straws, bubble wrap, uh, white paint, lab wrap card, skewers and or craft dowels, styrofoam, foil, carpet. My explanation for these materials is titanium for tubes, some of the rocket and biospheres support beams. Toilet rolls for pipe shape and rocket shape and pieces can be cut out of it, then laid on top of each other for beams. Insulation for keeping the temperature in the building in the buildings instead of it escaping. Bubble wrap because of its size and can actually be used as insulation. Thermal protection system to protect against extreme temperatures. White paint because space shuttles and biospheres are white and white is a colour that does not attract heat. Glass protects against heat pressure and acids and there are, there's acid rain on Mars and the glass would be for the biospheres. Glad wrap is clear like glass but can be cut to size easily. Steel sheets for inside walls and floors and furniture etc. And steel has a good wearing rate so shoes and hands won't wear it quickly. Card because it's flimsy but strong and can be cut to size. Steel rods for supporting smaller structures and steel is strong. Skewers because they are long enough to support what they need to support and are rod-like. Concrete for walls and floors and concrete is thick, strong and has good wearing rate and will be good for hospitals as it does not collect many germs whilst, as, while steel does. Styrofoam 
is thick and strong like concrete. Solar panels to collect electricity, oil because it's reflective like solar panels and can be laid on top of the itself to create thickness to create the thickness of solar panels. Aluminium for the rocket, cardboard because it is strong and can be shaped and kind of size. But these are my designs, that's my drawing design and that one there's my digital design. That's my model with labels. A description of the three main parts of the court. The hospital. The hospital is a long rectangular concrete building that houses the sick and injured. In my model, it is made from styrofoam to replace the concrete. Control center. A long rectangular building with a glass, with glass, a glass window along the front, giving it a view of the colony and the landing pad. It controls the power, security, water, gravity generators, and air generators. The politics happen here as well. Boardroom. The boardroom is a biosphere that holds the meeting. The meeting room for the leaders of the colony. What worked well, what was difficult, and what I did like. Worked well. The control room worked super well because the skewers and hot glue held up the pub and ran out of skewers. A solution had to be quick, which sped up the process massively. The other thing that worked well was when it came to the end of not only making time, and I wasn't finished, I found some quick molding materials that were perfectly for that. It was difficult. It was difficult to manage my time well because I always tried to make things perfect. So at the end, it was a massive rush. I liked the gym. looked cool with all the small pieces of straws, and I liked that even though it took quite a while. That's the end.